What is going on, everybody? This is one of those another uh, discussion video that I'm sure. Let me turn that down. Most of the commentators that you watch have already done. I've been seeing. I didn't. So why I thought I was going to be the only one with this idea, I don't know. But another another Madden 15 wish list. So the game you guys are going to see is uh, uh, is it for the playoff game? It's we're playing for. It's the game after that huge epic win we just came off of. So. But this is going to be more of an open discussion about Madden 15. What do I want to see? And then what you guys want to see, you can post in the comments below. If I didn't cover anything that you might want to see or not. So we got about 10 minutes to discuss what we want to see. So I wrote down a list here. We're going to uh, see what we can get into. Starting with Mutt, since that seems to be the future. It looks like they're really pushing Mutt hard. Like Mutt tournaments is going to be the new thing. How it used to be like Vegas and everything like that. It's like Mutt's going to be the new thing. So that's going to be the new thing. And I, before this year, I was against Mutt. I thought it was stupid. I didn't like it. I didn't see the appeal in it. But, I mean, I became addicted for a while to the point where, like, I don't know. All I thought about was when can I get on the auction block. I was in class. I wanted to be on the auction block. I was at the gym. I wanted to be on the auction block. So Mutt, Mutt I see uh, the appeal in it. So Mutt, for me, improvements that I want to see contracts and injuries let me be able to buy more than one at a time like please like there should be a amount where it's like one times equals 100 coins and i should be able to move that one marker up as many times i should be able to buy a thousand if i want and it should just equal the amount let me buy as many contracts and injuries that i as i want um wager matches i don't know how I mean, I do know how EA could set it up, have like wager match lobbies um, to where you go into a match, like you set, it's going to be like an open lobby. You like set an open amount, like you basically set a custom match, like I want to play for 20k. Somebody else comes in the lobby, they see, they look through it, they're like, oh, someone wants to play for, they see 20. So you go into the match, EA locks you guys in, has both your 20k's. That makes sense to me, but the only way I could see that going wrong is people will figure out a way to cheat the system. I would say, oh, if somebody disconnects or turns off their Xbox, the one that turns it off should be the one that loses, so the winner gets the coin. But I could see how just the same thing with DC glitching. People will figure out a way to DC, take coins. So I don't know. There's there's smarter minds than me at EA. They need to figure it out, figure out wager matches, figure out what they could do. I don't know. Um, practice mode. I want Mutt to have a practice mode let me face off against my own defense or set a range set like a like an 80 to a 90 range team like it could be anybody on the team i don't care who it is or let it be that team of the week or whatever like just let me practice against that then they have like a 90 to a 95 team range like and i could pick teams from there to play against and a 95 to a 99 range and i can practice i want to practice mode against teams i don't want them to go and so go and go into solo challenges like practice with my team i want to be able to go into a practice mode just like they have but i want it to be in mutt with my team and not solo challenges um card ranger this is my first year playing mutt but why is a 69 a gold a bronze a silver like figure out what you want to go with ea and let it be known why is a 69 this 70 can be this and 80 can be elite it can also be a fan i don't know they need to figure that out. What else do we have here? Season coin rewards. How they expect anybody to get any coins when you're giving away like 4,000 for a Super Bowl win? You should be getting like 5K for avoiding level demotion, in my opinion. You should be like, I figure in all Madden first, like, let me know if you guys think this is outlandish. In all Madden first string playoffs, Super Bowl win, does 100K if you win a Super Bowl sound outlandish? I don't know. Maybe maybe after you win it like five times, maybe they they stop giving you 100K. But even then, like if they're gonna demote you, they should be then they should give you coins the whole time. So why I feel like you should get 50K for all man and first string playoff win. I mean I know there's people out there that like have played hundreds of all man first string Super Bowls and won like 70 plus, but. I don't know. I feel like the, the coin and season rewards should be higher than they are. And speaking of coins, this leads me into packs. Um, this is my first year playing Mutt. 
I watched a little bit of it towards the end of Madden 13, especially when Addy Card was doing it, because I found like high stake wager matches so compelling to watch, even though I didn't play much. Um, but Pac, from my understanding, Packs and Madden 13 used to be good. Like you were guaranteed at least something decent. So to me, like I don't know any other pack luck than what I've experienced this year. And it, I mean, it's had its ups and downs, but mostly downs. But I feel like I don't know. First of all, I just feel like it's you're not guaranteed to get like at least give me something to break half. Like 7,500, give me something to at least I don't know. I feel like the packs were just really not that favorable, and that leads me into why can I not buy bundles with coins? Like, I understand, I understand why, because it makes EA money. Like, why would I let you buy bundles with coins when I can make you buy it with real money? But, like, at least let, like, like, let a seven pack bundle be like 100K or so. Like, because you got to buy them one at a time and it's just real stupid. But I would like to be able to buy bundles with coins and just make it like 7,500 for a pack seems like a lot because you're not getting rewarded a lot for season games and I feel like they need to figure out something to do and the auction block system let me type in somebody's name uh, first name last name and the whole bidding and everything it's it's real real stupid I don't know who comes up with like the set prices so like you pull a golden ticket who is able to say that that card should go for that amount I don't know I feel like maybe there should be like a, a marker set on it like you can't post like that comes again to the ratings like an elite can't be posted higher than like 500k or no lower than like 80k to make to make cards hold value you know because when they're not because when they're, you can just go all post everything you want and then don't even get me to bidding where like you got to sit there and refresh like I got to back out to bid on something when it's a minute less and then I go in, it says I'm, I can't place in a bid, I gotta back back out again. And then by the time if you actually win a bid, the person pulls it down with like 10 seconds left. So it doesn't even, it doesn't, bidding, bidding's just stupid to begin with. But fix the pack luck, make it more rewarding. I mean, I understand, because there's, there's two extremes. If you don't make it rewarding, then people are gonna keep coming back for more. They're gonna be like, okay, this is the chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull something this time, I'm gonna pull, and they're gonna keep coming back. But then the other extreme is, if you keep giving shitty pack luck, people are eventually go eventually going to stop buying. I mean, I know people that have dropped thousands this year on Mutt. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible, a real thing. But eventually, you would think if the pack luck stayed shitty, that um, people are going to stop buying. So they need to make, like, like this reward pack you're seeing on the screen, like, why am I getting a bronze, a contract, and a collectible that doesn't, like, wh like what is a reward pack? Like, that that's not a reward. 70 uh 76 gold card is not a reward and this video might start back over like what you guys are seeing on the screen because we're not we're we haven't even hit halfway but we'll see um that might be all with mutt just the season coin rewards i would really like a practice mode if they could figure out a wager lobby somehow to make it secure that people won't get screwed over you guys can see me checking out the uh sparkle joe hayden right there auction block they just need to like make it more simple like i gotta put all this in why can't i just like type in last name Hayden search it by elite and figure that out but I'm looking at a Hayden in Ariba so I think that's it for the mutt contract wager I want to practice mode figure out what you're going to do with the card ranges I'm flashing you all the team right there um season coin rewards pack luck auction box let me know if you guys want to see anything else in mutt um ranked getting to online ranked um this is the first year that I didn't like crack over I don't think I've played 50 ranked games. Um, this is the first time since like Madden, when did I start playing? 08 or 09 online? This is like the first time that I didn't, like usually I would have like easily 300 games played by now, but uh, I think they should bring back fair play or have a, have a fair play lobby and not a fair play lobby. So like the computer makes you punt it, you can't go for it in certain situations. I think that would help. They gotta figure. They gotta figure out something to do about the DC glitch. And you got the same people that have been in the top 100 for three, four years now. When they've won five games and lost 100, given up like 40 and only scored three, but they're ranked in the top five. They gotta figure out how to do that. I feel like.
people have been talking about that forever, but I don't, I don't know how you police it. But again, there's smarter minds than me out there that can figure it out, and hopefully, uh, they'll be able to. So, if they could figure out a fair play lobby, which I don't, I don't see why that would be hard, but hopefully they can figure that out. Um, glitching again, the same thing like within Mutt. I've been, I think I got like 15 or so losses when this goes up. 80% of my losses have just been from disconnects. Some on my end from internet, others on people disconnecting, sending me messages after saying, did I like that disconnect, sending smiley faces and all this stuff. Like they just gotta, I think like we, you've been doing this for so long, you've gotta figure out a way to police it uh, as far as ranked goes. And I feel like another turn off with ranked is the, I didn't even really notice it until I started playing Mutt, but six minute quarters is such a long time. I feel like they should scale scale it down to four. I feel like they should make ranked games four minutes Excel clock, just like they do with uh, Mutt. I feel like that's a good. I feel like that's a good time. Four minutes Excel clock. I feel like that's a good online uh, time to play, or make it five minutes with no Excel, something like that. They they gotta bring the they gotta bring the quarter lengths down. And the uh, top 100, like we said, they if we can figure out just some way to police it to make it like actually accurate. Because remember last year, Madden 13, I was like bouncing out in and out of the top 200. But like once you get to that point, it's borderline impossible because kids have DC'd their way so far up to the top that like you're really not going to make uh, any headway getting in there. That's all I could think of as far as ranked in my, I don't really do the connect franchise stuff. Well, I'm not, I don't really do it. I don't do it. I don't do the, I just don't like a lot of computer play. I like head to head, like online play. So the mutt and the online ranked. And then getting to the actual, like the game itself, like graphics, gameplay. Um, Y'all know I'm on the 360, but I played, uh, I played Madden on my friend's PlayStation 4 on the Xbox One. I feel like they went, were the graphics better? Yes, but I feel like they went too overboard, and it looks kind of like it doesn't. It went from like realistic to like real game, gamey, and I don't, I don't like the way it looks. So if they can scale it, scale it down, and get rid of that like computer look, I would like that. Um, the running style on next gen, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, especially when it comes to like if I hit. Let's say, for example, Deshaun Jackson in stride on a streak. I should be able to plant my foot. Not even plant my foot. I should wide receivers easily catch a drag and go just like this. Or I should be able to plant my foot and go. I don't need to catch a drag. I have to decelerate for four steps, chop my feet, and then go in a banana shape all the way around. Like I watch people that are on next gen and like you can't even hit the corner on a stretch play. Like you've got to come all the way around like this because you can't even hit angles that sharp. I understand they wanted to make the cuts more realistic and maybe like the 360 and the PS3 is a little like too much because like you can literally just skate around. But I feel like they overdid it on the next gen. Like you can't even like everyone's running like half banana shape. Like they teach you when you're playing t-ball to like round first base and shit. Like you can't even make cuts. I got to slow down to take a drag up field. Like it's real stupid. I don't like it. So if they could find a medium between current gen and next gen Madden 25 and figure out how to do cuts and juke moves, I feel like that would be a good place to go. Uh, we talked about the graphics, juke moves, uh, Fag D. Um, there's not going to be really anything you could do about Fag D because I don't see them not letting you put a, a, a lineman in a container or a QB spy, but just increase the offensive lines computer AI like if somebody is rushing one can I please just see for once a triple team on that one guy and they just put him on the ground can they just put him on the ground and just keep pushing him back on the ground because that's what would happen in real life if it was 2v6 unless a fluke happened okay so someone calls fag D all right the first time that 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 guy he gets in all right you rush two you got in line and get beat but eventually he's gonna get put on his ass like don't don't reward fag D more than because it already causes so many problems don't even make it that much better than it already is so hopefully they'll fix that uh, and I feel like they need to decide what to do with man-to-man -man coverage and this goes back to mutt too if I have somebody that has a hundred plus man-to-man should they be getting beat 
on an out route, but then that comes back to like, then what do you do against man to man? If somebody has like a hundred man to man coverage across the board, should there be man to man? Should there be routes that beat man to man? But then I just spend a million coins on a cornerback that has a hundred plus man to man. He shouldn't be getting beat in man to man. So they need to figure they need to figure out a happy medium with that. And then the zones like a purple is supposed to cover the flat you know the deep corner routes the out routes they need to make a decision is a purple now a hook zone because my purples react to the middle not to the sidelines so they need to figure out what to do and the same things with uh again going back to man to man if i have a db that's backed off in man to man coverage and you streak him and you streak your receiver my corner shouldn't be getting burned I don't care what you're in, man, zone, the corner should be getting burned. So those are just kind of little things that they need to figure out, like, where are they going to go? Is So someone's a man, like a Richard Sherman's a man-to-man -man against, like, an 89 speed wide receiver. But if I streak my receiver, Richard Sherman will get burnt. And that's just the way they've, uh, they've got the game going. So hopefully they'll be able to figure some things out. And that's basically my mutt. 15 my mutt 15 my madden 15 wish list if i didn't cover anything or anything you guys want to see improvements in let me know you guys are probably going to get like an overspill of like an extra six or seven minutes of this video replaying but i just feel like i wanted to get all that out there i had a feeling it was going to take a little longer than the 10 minutes but uh it looks like mud is the future so hopefully they'll really focus on that i mean they make so much money from mud i don't see why they don't have the money to really take like suggestions into account I mean, they make so much money, like you're dropping promotional bundles every weekend for $80 a pop that people are buying multiple of. I don't see why they can't figure something out. I would really like to see a practice mode, like really would like to see it. And also back to Mutt, I would like to see audibles, not custom playbooks, but just let me set audibles within the playbook that I pick. The re I kind of like that there's not audibles because I don't have to deal with somebody else's hurry up audible custom offense but then in return I don't get to use any audibles but all you got to do is just if I pick who's the first playbook who starts with the A if I pick Atlanta playbook let me set audibles that are within Atlanta playbook I won't be able to pull from New England and San Francisco just let me set audibles within my given playbook I would like to see that but if it, if it doesn't change I guess it's okay because I won't have to worry about someone else's custom made audible, but I would like audibles myself. I would really like to see a practice mode. If they could come up with a wager match, lobby, fair, something that's fair, that would be huge. But people will find ways to beat the system. They always do. People will find a way to beat it. They'll disconnect. EA will give them the coins and not use the coins, and it would it would just cause a shit storm. Uh, and hopefully they improve on the pack luck. And make don't make a pack 7,500. And if you do make it 7,500, make it easier to acquire 7,500 because not everybody can play coin games. Not everybody can find trustworthy people that are actually going to pay up. And it's a uh, it's hard to come by coins. So that was it for the month. The ranked, I think they should decrease decrease the quarters. Figure out a way to police the top 100 and just glitching in general. That goes to that just goes to mutt and everything. Uh, fair play lobby. I would like to see that. You could put that in mutt too. Mutt fair play lobby. Uh, increase the season rewards and figure out what you want to do with the run game. Am I going to have to break down every time I catch something to turn up field? Like, I need to know. Like, there are people that run at full speed that can make cuts, but from what I've seen on next gen, uh, some of it's not possible. So, hopefully, they'll figure out a happy medium. Fig do something about the fag D. Yes, people will run it, but make the offensive lineman's AI higher at least. Like, if they're rushing one, it should not be five professional offensive linemen uh shoot moves graphics games and i guess that's basically it i've covered everything i could think of if you guys enjoyed hit the like button subscribe if you have not already leave any of your suggestions for what you want to see in a uh, madden 15 i'm excited for it i really can't wait i need to go ahead and pre-order uh as soon as possible but i can't wait for madden 15 so if you liked hit the like button subscribe if you have not already Tell a friend to tell a friend. That is my Madden 15 wish list. I appreciate it.